This is what I kind of wanted to go into next. I know you're very well versed into the studies. Um, how about raw food diets? What do the studies and the science really say about that? You know, I've met so many people that have reversed, you know, cancers and all sorts of disease on raw fruits and vegetables. Um, so I was wondering if I could have your, your thoughts on that. Yeah, I mean, what, one of the benefits that raw diets have over just quote-unquote vegan diets mm -hmm. is it cuts out all the crap, yeah. right? And so, I mean, it used to be that vegans have really healthy diets. They had to, by definition. They, I mean, all that, that was available was mm -hmm. healthy food. I mean, it's the same thing with celiac sufferers. The people that, you know, were forced to eat gluten-free 20 years ago, they were, all of a sudden, they couldn't eat donuts, right? All of a sudden, I mean, so they were actually eating pretty healthy diets because they weren't eating all this processed crap. But now, celiac sufferers can eat just as unhealthy as everybody else. And the same thing with vegans. Now, vegans have vegan ice cream and vegan donuts and vegan everything else. Vegan marshmallows, right? So you can live off vegan marshmallows and, you know, have t yeah. terrible health. Um... And so, ah, but the raw people have the advantage, right? If you go raw, then all of a sudden, vegan marshmallows are off your plate. Right. Um, what uh, there is, but so that, but that's the that's the primary advantage, is the fact that you're getting rid of a lot of that processed mm -hmm. garbage. And so, I don't see an advantage of a raw food diet over a whole food plant based diet. And in fact, the long term studies on raw foodists are quite disappointing. I have a couple videos on the site. Um, and so the, in the short term, they do remarkable. They do great right. um, because you're going to an extremely healthy diet. But long term, we're seeing some um, nutrient deficiencies and not great stuff. If you want to do it, um, uh, the absolute uh, must-have resource is Becoming uh, Raw by uh, Davis and Molina. Get that at your local uh, library. Uh, it is the only science-based, evidence-based resource on, law, on raw food diets, mm -hmm. both the benefits and the risks, that I've ever been able to find. And so if you want to try it, go for it, but make sure you do it with that book. What are these um, deficiencies that we are seeing? Yeah, not just, I mean, not only, I mean, you'd think you would have fewer deficiencies. I mean, if you all, all you ate was like a diet just packed with fruits and vegetables, I mean, you should just be like, oozing nutrients out of your ears, but it's not what you eat, it's what you absorb. That's a, that's, a, that's kind of a critical piece. And so, for example, you get twice the amount of beta carotene in cooked carrots compared to raw carrots. You get about uh, three or four times the amount of lycopene, this wonderful red pigment in uh, tomatoes and pink grapefruit mm -hmm. and watermelon, in you know, cooked tomato products like tomato sauce, tomato paste, compared to raw tomatoes. Um, uh, so it's many of these kind of carotenoid nutrients. You actually get more absorption. Um, now, having said that, look, there are some nutrients that are heat sensitive, like, uh, you know, vitamin C, folate can be destroyed, you know, 15% can be destroyed in broccoli, uh, you know, if you microwave broccoli for two minutes, you can destroy about 15% of the vitamin C, mm -hmm. so then you'd have to eat six florets of steamed broccoli to get the amount of vitamin C found in five florets of raw broccoli, but if you don't like raw broccoli, you like steamed broccoli, and you're going to eat no raw broccoli, then obviously, right, whatever way will get you to stuff more fruits and vegetables in your face, that's the way you should eat them, however you like them. Um, uh, but having said that, um, let me see. Uh, let me see if I can find the uh, the raw. Food. So if you type, if you go to raw food, um, it, uh, there's a topics page on nutritionfacts.org. Um, over 1,600 topics in nutrition. I've got videos on over 1,600 topics. One of those is raw foods. Um, um, or, you know, I wonder if it's even under cooked foods. Um, uh, and I go through um, the studies, most of which were done on the Hallelujah Diet, folks, um, uh, which were not, uh, it's kind of one brand of raw foodism. I think they did some juicing, some sprouting. Um, uh, but you'll see the studies that I have, and unfortunately, they're just not great. Um, whereas long-term uh, studies on vegans, for, the, uh, for example, the Advantage 2 study, and these people mm -hmm. are not, you know, raw food vegans. You know, they eat a lot of kind of processed meats and things, um, do remarkably well, and have uh, some of the lowest rates of chronic disease. Uh, in fact, uh, the, uh, you know, the vegetarian Seventh-day Adventist, the longest living population in the world, formerly mm -hmm. studied ever, longer, living longer than the Okinawa Japanese, living longer than everybody. Um, and part of that is because they're plant-based diet, and part of it is because they um, have a lot of other healthy lifestyle behaviors as well, like not smoking. 
Yeah, maybe um, it's like how you said before of like the range of health. Maybe it's just because people are adding more fruits and vegetables, having more salads and more uh, more fruits and, and things like that. Maybe that's uh, another reason why it could be uh, quoted um, healthier. Oh, absolutely right. So it's not just kind of avoiding the bad stuff in meats. Right. Um, it's adding the good stuff in plants, yeah. right? To be a healthy vegetarian, you actually have to eat vegetables, mm -hmm. uh, just like everybody does. Right. And, you know, french fries don't count. <laughs> uh, you know, so I go around speaking to college campuses, and there's all these, you know, vegans living off of french fries and beer, and they're just unhealthy. Yeah. You know, they're just not, you know, that's not, now, of course, at that age, they're just not thinking long, you know, they're not thinking really about their health, but, you know, they really should be. Um, because many of these chronic diseases take decades to develop. Yeah. And so the earlier we can uh, start eating healthier, the better.